¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Hola, hola, teacher. Good hola, evening, hola. teacher. Here we are. ¿Cómo están? All right. right. Todo nice. Everything good at this moment. Great, great. What about you, teacher? Thanks. I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Fíjense Excellent. que me, me muevo de una clase para otro rapidito, pero este Zoom se le va el Wi-Fi por rato. <ríe> le cuesta. Se pone lento el, el Inter. Ajá. No, es que como se mueve de un, al moverse de una clase a otra. Ah, Entonces, la, la plataforma. La plataforma. Ah, okay. uh -huh. ah. Pero ya, ya estamos acá. Veré si puedo encender la cámara porque no me da acceso. No sé por qué. Uh, ok. Ok. Please select another video camera. Vamos a ver. Vaya, le vamos a dar tiempo. Um, in the meantime, since I cannot turn my cameras on, uh, I would like to ask you about the previous topic that we were studying on the previous class, on the last class. Do you remember? What was the topic from the from the previous class? We were talking about you uh, used to. Okay. Now, since we were talking about used to, give me some examples, please. Me, uh -huh. teacher? Yes. Thank you, Vicente. Okay. Okay, I used to play video games. I used now, to play video games. Uh huh. Uh huh. But now I don't. I don't play them anymore. Okay. I don't play them because are very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are really expensive, actually. Yeah. Right. Another example is, mm -hmm. I used to swim in the river, but now the river. I don't. Okay. I don't swim in the same But, place. <laughs> okay, thank you for your examples. Eh, okay. Estoy tratando de encender la, encender la cámara, pero no me da acceso. Dice, fail to start the video camera. Y en la clase anterior sí la pude encender, no sé qué pasó. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Carlos, pero ustedes sí, manténganla encendida. Tal vez en el transcurso uh -huh. de la clase me deje encenderla. Eh, Carlos, okay. Okay, eh, okay. Yeah, give me one example. Okay. Using, used to. I used to go... To the to see the movies, but mm -hmm. right now, but now I I cannot because uh, I am working a lot. Okay, thank you, Lorena. Go ahead. I used to go home in the morning always. Okay, and now I used to go running in the morning all days. No. And now you <laughs> no. don't go running anymore. <laughs> anymore all right it's okay so any other example please i used to go eat um mucho a lot uh, no, mm -hmm. i don't know okay a lot a lot okay mm -hmm. okay any other volunteer Any other volunteer? Luis, thank you. I used to eat pupusas, mm -hmm. but now eat pizza. <laughs> I don't know, maybe in some. Okay, thank you. Yo pensé que iba a decir, I used to eat pupusas, but now just chicken. <laughs> La yarixa. Okay, thank you. Another one, please. Edwin, go ahead. Uh, me teacher, uh... Bueno, tenía una, una duda. Uh -huh. eh, de la última clase, eh, por problemas ahí personalitos, no pude entrar. Okay. Y resolviendo la, la plataforma, pues me encontré este tema. Y bueno, uh -huh. no sé si... ¡Eh! Hey, ¡Ya encendió! I'm sorry, okay. me emocioné. <risa> Entonces, eh, 
no sé si con lo que estamos hablando ahorita se me vayan a despejar las dudas, pero eh, cuando estaba resolviendo la plataforma, pues encontré este, este tema de use of to. Use to. Uh -huh. no, no, me, no, me, no me quedó claro. Uh -huh. eh, porque en la plataforma aparecía use, use to. Así como USED. Uh -huh. Después había unas preguntas como use, USE, uh -huh. nada más. Okay. Correcto. Entonces, uh -huh. no me quedó claro en qué, si es algo diferente o cómo lo utilizaríamos. No sé si me podría ayudar yeah. ahí. Eh, do you have access to the Zoom chat right now? Zoom chat. Do you have access? Sí, lo vemos. Okay, the first option is positive. When you talk about positive statements, you say, I used to go to the movies. Solía ir al, al cine, okay? I used okay. to go to the movies. That's the first option. And the second option is negative. If you see with the negative form, you use didn't. And use is base form you don't say used you say use is that clear okay okay so okay. first first option positive statement okay i used okay. to i used to go to the movies but now i don't go to the movies anymore that can be one example and the oh. second example is negative i didn't used to Okay. No solía. I didn't, you can say, I didn't used to go to the gym, but now I go to the gym like every day. Okay. Vaya, mm -hmm. me dejó encender la cámara, pero se ve borroso. Se ve un poco borroso. No se ve normal como, mm -hmm. como se ve, suele ver, pero de vez en cuando la estaré encendiendo. Okay, uh, now Edwin, is that clearer now? Is that more understandable? Solo la pronunciación sería un tanto diferente. The first one is used to. I used to. And the uh, second one, I didn't used to. Used to. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Dorat, uh, please give me one example uh, using used to. I used, I used to go play baseball. Uh, playing, uh -huh, baseball, yeah. But now? But now I don't go anymore. You don't go anymore, okay. Thank you. Lourdes Martinez? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Give me one example. Mm -hmm. Hey, there you go. Camera is right now. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My example is um I used to the be camera a... is warm. It's working. I'm sorry, <laughs> lower this. No problem, no problem. Mm -hmm. I used to be a good uh, basketball player, mm -hmm. but now my work don't permit practice. Doesn't allow me to practice. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your participations. You are doing great. Now, uh, let's move to the platform. Let me just double check something here because we were working on the lesson. I mean, on the unit one, if I'm not mistaken, we couldn't finish because we had like some issues, right? With the book, but now, we're going to try to get advantage of the uh, topic. I would like to explain you something before moving forward. And I'm going to share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. In the meantime, it's just loading. I think it's loading. Okay, once you can see it, let me know, all right? 
Can you see it now or not yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now it's okay. All right. Thank you. Much, a bit of, little, a great okay. deal of. Much better. All right. Uh, let me show you this part first. This is really important for you to know. Okay. And there you have the quantifier. Why quantifiers are very important on this topic? Those are really important because we are going to study the use of countable and uncountable nouns. But first of all, you need to know first about the quantifiers and when to use them. Let me go back. Okay, I'm going to write down the name of uh, this type of topic, which is quantifiers. That's the name of quantifiers, all right? And the main topic for today's lesson is related to countable and uncountable nouns. Countable and uncountable nouns. Countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, that's basically the main topic. But in order for you to know about this, it's very important to focus on the quantifiers. Because if you don't know how to use quantifiers, you're going to get lost with a countable and uncountable nouns. So you have quantifiers that you can use with uncountable nouns, okay? For example, you have much, you have a bit of, little, okay? A great deal of, a large quantity of, a little, very little, and a large of. This is quantifiers with uncountable nouns. And you have quantifiers with countable nouns. Example of quantifier. These are just examples, guys. I sent you the pictures to the WhatsApp group for you to have that information. You have a majority of, a great number of, several, many, a large number of, a number of, few, a few, and very few. Okay? And we have quantifiers that you can use with both, with countable and uncountable nouns. That's the reason why it's really important for you to know uh, this type of quantifiers, because if you don't know that there are some quantifiers that you can use with countable and uncountable nouns, you are going to get lost. But if you know how to identify them first, that's going to be pretty easy okay there you have count uh, quantifiers with countable and uncountable nouns all enough none or no some more must lots of least or list any not any and plenty of questions so far do you have any questions or is that clear? It's okay. It's okay? Okay, thank you. Now, you have countable nouns. What's the meaning? We're going to focus on the countable nouns first. What's the meaning of countable nouns? What do you understand about countable nouns? Like this scream is uh, like plurals. Okay. Uh, actually, we have singular um, and plural. we also have plural. 
nouns. Okay. Uh -huh. And the real of them. We have singular and plural nouns. Uh -huh. All right. And there you have like the rules. And countable nouns are all those nouns that you can count. For example, one car, two cars. Two cars. One dog, two dogs. Two dogs. One book, two one books. Book, two books. One house, two houses. Two, house, two houses. One apple, two apples. Okay? So we have singular and plural nouns. And the rule, the rule number one says that the majority of the nouns to make them plural. We add just the letter S. Is that clear? Clear. <clears throat> Rule number two. All the nouns ending in letter S, CH, SH, letter X, or Z, we add ES. Yes. One bus, two buses. Two buses. One match, two matches. Too much. One ditch, two dishes. One box, two boxes. boxes. One quiz, two quizzes. If you see, we add ES. If it ends in letter S, CH, SH, letter X, X, and letter Z. C. Rule number three. Rule number three. If the verb ends in letter F, okay, we are going to add V-E-S. One leaf, two leaves. One golf, two wolves. One life, two lives. One knife, two knives. Okay, so if the verb, I mean, if the noun ends in letter F or F E, we're going to change or eliminate in the plural form and we're going to add V E S. E -E -S. Leaves. Is it clear? Yeah, clear. Yes, thank you. you. Okay. Rule number four. Number four. If the verb, I mean, if the noun ends in letter Y, in letter Y, like this one, okay? Okay. We add letter S, like this example. All right? All right. So, one day, two days. One key, okay. two keys. Two keys. One boy, two boys. Boy. One guy, two guys. two guys. One donkey, two donkeys. Okay. And we had the next rule, which is rule number five. Number five. If the noun ends in consonant plus letter Y, like city, like baby, like story, like party, and like country, we are going to remove or eliminate the letter Y, okay? And we're going to add I-E-S. I -E -S. Okay? If you see, city to cities, city. one city. baby to babies, one story to stories, one party to parties, one country, two countries. And we have irregular nouns. What's the meaning of irregular? It means that they change completely. For example, one man, two men, not two mans or two men. <laughs> Eso no existe. Yeah, it doesn't right. exist. One child, two children, not two childs or two children's, no. Two children. One children. foot, two feet. Two feet. Mm -hmm. One tooth, two teeth. Two feet. 
one mouse to mice. Two mice. Not two mouses, right? <laughs> one yeah. person, two people. Two people. Not two, not two persons. Old English, they used to say persons, but that was old English in all books. You can find persons. But grammatically, grammatically speaking, and the most updated grammar, you don't say persons anymore. You say people for plural forms. Question so far? And this is the rule number six. Number seven, if the noun ends in letter O, okay, like in this example, these ones, you are going to add letter S. One zoo to zoos. One radio to radios. One stereo to stereos. One video to videos. And one kangaroo to kangaroos. Okay, rule number eight. There are some uh, some nouns that ends with consonant in letter O. If the noun ends in consonant plus letter O, you are going to add ES. One hero to heroes. One echo to echoes. One tomato to tomatoes. One potato to potatoes. Exceptions. Piano, pianos. Photo, photos, that's an exception that you need to take into consideration. And you have the last rule, rule number nine. This, sorry, I was coughing. So these rules, they don't, I mean, these nouns, they don't change. You can say one chip, two chip, three chip, okay? One deer, two deer, three deer. One fish, two fish, three fish. Not two fishes. Not three fishes. Is that clear? One serious, two serious, three serious. One species, two species, three species. Question so far. So in this case, for example, fish is the same in, in plural. Mm -hmm. You can okay. say one fish or 10 fish, not 10, 10 fish. fishes. <laughs> it doesn't okay. exist, okay? okay. Or, at, or if you talk about different uh, kinds of fish, you can say one fish, two fishes. For example, tilapia, and what's the other one? A boca colorada. Those, there okay. are two type, types of fish. Uh -huh. So you can say one fish, two fish with different categories or different okay. types of. Okay. Questions or no questions at all? At this moment, no question. We're going to learn in the way. Okay. That's the attitude. And what I was talking was related to countable nouns. However, it is also highly important for you to know. I'm sorry. No problem. It is important for you to know about uncountable nouns. And uncountable. when do we use un or what's the meaning of, of uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns, we don't count them. Okay? They cannot be counted. Is it clear? Clear. So, for example, we have the uh, different categories. We have for crops, we have for elements, we have nouns for fillings, we have for gerunds, we have for liquids, we have for many things in one, we have for materials, we have for powders, we have for sports, and we also have for weather. Weather. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's see. I need I need to select some vol 
some people. Uh, Maria Jose, read the first one for crops. Okay, crops. Cotton. Cotton. Gra cotton. Grass. Mm -hmm. Maize. Rice. Yeah. Wheat. Thank you. So, You're Edgar, welcome. continue with elements. Air. Mm -hmm. Fire. Gold. Oxygen. Water. Water. Sarai Trejos. Read the one for feelings. Enjoyment. Fear. Mm -hmm. Hope. Love. Mm -hmm. Dreadness. Tiredness. Tiredness. Uh huh. Uh, Luis Ernesto, read it for Jennings. Okay. Eating, reading, running, running. sleeping, mm -hmm. running, uh, sleeping, waiting. Waiting. Jenny Elizabeth Hernandez, read for liquids. Okay, volunteers. Yes, Vicente. Which one is the chair? For liquid. Many liquid. Okay. Blood. Oil. Blood. Ah, uh, blood. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oil. Mm -hmm. Petrol. Yep. Soup. Mm -hmm. Water. Water, and we can include Coke. We can also include coffee, tea. Those are liquids, and we don't count okay. them. Gas. For many, many things in one. Carlos, read them. Okay, teacher. Uh, many things in one. Furniture, luggage. For, furniture. Furniture, luggage. Mm -hmm. Money. 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 Mm -hmm. News, yep. Literature, literature, literature. Yes, Jennifer for materials. Jennifer, you are mute. Materials, fabric, yep. glass, mm -hmm. um, metal, metal, paper. Wood. Wood. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Sandra Elizabeth, Koreas, for powders. What do you have? Mm -hmm. Ash. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. Dutch. Dust. 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 Is green, green and sand. Thank you. Continue, Luis Ernesto, for sports. Okay. Baseball, football, mm -hmm. rugby, tennis, baseball, volleyball, volleyball Oscar for weather. Oscar, you're mute. Sorry, um, sport or weather? Weather. Weather. Heat. Heat. Heat, heat, I'm sorry. Heat, uh, mist, rain, snow, sunshine. Sunshine, okay. Sunshine. Right, so in general, these are uncountable. Uncountable. The, those are or this is the category for uncountable nouns. Yeah. Now, let me go ahead and share the platform and we're going to continue learning. So once you can see it, just let me know. I think it's still loading if I'm not mistaken. All right. It's okay, uh, we can see it. Oh, you can see it now. Thank you. Now let's check. Oh, we were practicing the question with used to, but we, we couldn't complete the knowledge check. Okay, Carlos, complete the first one. Which is correct?
Carlos? Sorry, sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the number two, I think. Did you use to worry about money when you were younger? Thank you. Uh, next, another volunteer. Okay, Lourdes Martinez, continue with the number two. And the first one, did you use... Uh, to follow politics five years ago? Uh, the use to follow, okay. Politics five years ago. Continue Vicente, choose the best question to match this answer. I used to care a lot about, okay. a lot about my appearance now. I'm too busy to care how I look. Okay, um, what do you, you were young. Mm -hmm. The last one. Mm, no, that's the first yeah. one. Okay. Oscar, continue what with the number you? four. What kinds of video games? Okay. Wait me, please. Wait me, please. Allow me. Allow me. Wait for, wait for some seconds. Did you used to play when you were a teenager? Number one. D no. Cuando oh. va el D, el oh, use, sí, el, verbo. el use sí. va normal. Sí, calidad, you used to play when you were a teenager. No sé por qué no me deja seleccionar. Ah, okay. Now let's send the answers. Yay, we got 20 out of 20. That's great. Now let's move to the next session. On the next section, we're going to learn the use of countable and uncountable nouns. That's the reason why we studied them first. And you are going to just review them review them. Okay, this week, remember that we need to take advantage of the time working with the platform and continue with the section three. We are going to try to complete the section three during this week, okay? Because on Friday night, you should have the section finished, okay? Now, uh, let me go ahead and read the, uh, the lesson objective. I think it's loading, by the way. Okay, once you can see it, Carlos, help me with the lesson objective. It is just loading. Uh, I cannot see right now, teacher. Okay, let's wait some seconds. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Lesson two, let's uh, lesson objective. Learn how to describe problem in English using count and now count nouns. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to describe problem in a city using phrases like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and enough, and more. You Phrases. also learn. Sorry. Phrases. Phrases. Enough. Enough. Okay, and more. You also learn about common known counts nouns, including water, ox oxygen, English, traffic, milk soccer, sunshine, etc. And understand how to tell if a noun is count or not count. An English oral comprehension, comprehension audio exercise is included. Okay, thank you. Ya nos adelantamos a la plataforma. Okay, with the countable and uncountable nouns. Now, 
Let me go ahead and play a video. Once you can see a it. Video. Yeah. Once you can watch and listen to the video, let me know, please. All right, there you go. Yeah, we can see it. Now it's fast. Let's just wait some seconds. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So, for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city and remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city for example there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars and we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas so we're going to listen to that and i will have you answer a couple of questions about that The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there 
a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non count? Um, police officers, is that count or non count? Um, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? Easy video, right? Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, Edgar, can you please read the first one? It says, knowledge check. Which of the following options is not a count now? Edgar, are you here? Yes, yes, in your. Mm -hmm. It's not count now. Mm -hmm. The parking. Parking, excellent. Maria, Jose. What are some examples of non-count noun? Two, three options. Um, water, mm -hmm. wood, and yep. air. Thank you. Carlos, what are some examples of count noun? Two, three options. Uh, count nouns, desk, mm -hmm. camera, mm -hmm. and book. Thank you. Uh, volunteer for the number four. Why do the buses cause too much pollution? Vicente, okay. thank you. Okay. Uh, well, and then the lady who said is, teacher. Mm -hmm. Why is there too much traffic? Mm -hmm. Because there are too many cars. Because there are too many cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Be sure the, uh, uh, the number four is. It's pending. Ah. It's, it's pending. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the number four is for the one who said teacher, the lady. Lorena. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> okay. Why do the buses cause too much pollution? Uh, the bus, the buses cause too much pollution because they are all. Okay. The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. All right, let me send the answers. Yay, you got 10. Excellent. Excellent. We got it. We got it. Is that easy? Yes, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Very easy. All right. <laughs> now, it's too uh huh. Okay, now let's see. I need another volunteer to to read this lesson objective. Who's ready? Okay, uh, I'm going to select Oscar. Uh, lesson objective. Uh, continue building English conversational skills, skills by learning skills by learning English expression of quantity. By the end of this class, you will be able to discuss 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 thank you discuss a uh, transportation service using albers of quantity including enough many fewer and more practice incorporating expression of quantity in phrases such as phrases phrases the quantity in phrase phrases such as there aren't enough buses or we need more public transportation. 
there should be fewer cars and there isn't enough parking downtown. Okay. Now let's listen to this video. Expressions of quantity. I think it's loading. Just give me some seconds. Okay. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's going to help us to understand when we're going to use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much, for example, in this case, we have a non count now, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars, and I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement there aren't enough buses let me present the structure now in order for us to make sense of there are too many cars we need to understand the following rule uh, and that is that we're going to have there and by the way this can be the subject of the sentence it doesn't necessarily need to be there like for example we can say we have too many cars and let me go ahead, as I am talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now. So let me write the example that is there. There are, whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. Okay. Um, and just so that we keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors um, there. And that follows the verb to be. And then we have too many. And that's how we make that expression. There are too many cars. We can also say we have too many cars. What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression, there aren't enough. And then that's going to follow a count now. So we use there plus aren't. And then this is going to follow the expression enough. And what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cars. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject. Then we need should. After that, we're going to need the verb to be. And this is followed by either fewer or more. And then it's going to be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say 
there should be fewer cars, which is the example that we have here. We have a subject. This could be in the form of there, as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject. Uh, then it's going to follow the model verb should, and then this is, will be followed by a verb. It can be the verb to be, but it can be other verbs as well. And then the um, adverb quantities, such as fewer or more, and then whatever count noun that exists. There should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. And these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city. And the other example that I haven't talked about, we need more subway lanes. That is kind of like a stronger opinion, so it's no longer a suggestion, if you will. Um, but it's, it's something similar. And so um, it's quite similar. We're going to say we. The only difference is that we don't include a model bird, right? We need more, and in this case, subway lines. What I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city, but now I'm going to do it with non-count nouns. And so what I would like for you to notice is the difference, right? We, we discuss how to express problems with count nouns. For example, we said there are too many cars. And what I want you to notice is that with non-count nouns, we're going to use different words. So for example, instead of too many, we will use too much. Instead of fewer, we will use less. Um, we can use more for count nouns as well as for non-count nouns. So as you can see the example there, we need more subway lanes. That's a countable. We need more public transportation. That's a non-countable. Um, and enough is the same way. There aren't enough buses. There isn't enough parking. Um, the only thing that will change in this last example is that we're always going to treat no countable nouns as singular, even though we might be talking about uh, more things. So let me try to present some structure there so that we can try to make sense of the examples here. So for example, we can say there is too much traffic. And what I would like to do is make sure that I'm using the appropriate colors that I chose. And there's our example. We have a subject that is followed by the verb. And then this is followed by either too much or enough. And then we have a non-count now. So the example, there is too much traffic. Let me give another quick example. There is too much, and I'm going to say pollution. Um, and what I would like to do is give an example there. There isn't enough parking. And the last thing related to this topic is how to express opinions that you have about what should be included in a city. And the only difference now is that we're going to include some sort of model verb. Okay? So we have our subject is there, then we include should be, uh, and in this case we're going to use less, and we're going to say pollution. Um, I'm going to change these words now and instead of too much or not enough or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay, Because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject. Uh, the subject is there. It's going to be followed by the model verb should and then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb. It doesn't have to be the verb to be. It can be something else. And then either less or more and whatever non count that exists. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice the concepts that we learned. I want you to practice giving expressions about what problems are in your city. And I want you to use a combination of both count nouns and non count nouns. And remember that if you are going to use count nouns, you're going to use expressions such as too many, fewer, or more. And if you're going to use non-count nouns, then you're going to use expressions such as too much, less, or more. And so here's a quick guide of what I would like for you to do. I want you to tell me about your city. So a quick example, this city should provide more, 
we have too many, there's too much, there isn't enough, there should be fewer, there should be less, and you either include count nouns or non-count nouns to give your opinions or to talk about your city. Okay, guys. Now, uh, since you have verified some examples right there, let me go ahead and stop sharing. And we're going to use those expressions in order to talk about our city. Okay? So, uh, raise your hands if you want to give me like some example related to the city. Using a... I sent you the picture actually to the WhatsApp group where you will be able to you will be able to see uh, too many, fewer, more, enough, too much, less, more, and enough. So you have with countable nouns and you also have with uncountable nouns. And uh, there you have some examples. Let's try to complete some expressions using those ideas. The number one, uh, let's see. I'm going to select uh, Sandra Elizabeth. Number one says, the city should provide more, more what? Uh, uh, no, no me ha quedado muy claro. Eh. Mm, okay, it's okay. Lorena. Number one. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Is um, number two? There aren't enough. No, en the number one. Ah. Uh, let me see. Um, ya la hice, teacher, pero se me perdió. It's okay. Maria Jose, complete the number one. The number one is the platform? No. Les envié una imagen a WhatsApp. Uh -huh. sí, la última ahí. imagen, allí hay eh, de la 1 a la 6. Solo tienen que completarlas usando uh -huh. eh, uh, the countable and non countables. Okay. The city should provide more. Buses. More buses. More buses. Mm, okay. All right. Or public transportation, uh, you would say. More public transportation and less private transportation because there is a, a big traffic because of it. Vicente, number two, we had too many. Sorry, I was uh, mute. We have too many cars. Too many cars in the city. Okay. In the city. All right. Or we can also say, we had too many business <laughs> businesses. Okay. Businesses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's continue with the next one, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Uh, there's too much uh, motor motorcycles, I think. Okay. Uh, remember that much is with uncountable. Oh, yes. Sorry, sir. Uh, Motorcycles. Too much uh, pollution. <laughs> there is too much right. pollution. Okay, pollution? I will say yes. that. Yeah, thank you. Number four. Uh, Sa let's see. Lorena Menjibar. Yes, teacher. Uh-huh. Number four. Number four. Mm -hmm. You can say, in my city, there isn't enough parking. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Lorena. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Number five. Who's ready for the number five? Any volunteer? Vicente. Uh, um, <clears throat> maybe it's, um, there should be fewer, fewer old cars. Fewer old cars. Okay, I agree with you. And the last one. Who's ready for the last one? Edgar. Edgar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There should be less dog on the street. Less? Okay. And dogs are plural, and we use less with uncountable. What would you say, Carlos, using less? Less um, contamination. <laughs> Contamination, ok, thank you Ok guys, vaya, nos vamos a quedar hasta acá Vamos a seguir practicando Denle una revisión a esa última imagen que les mandé El tema está bastante entendible Así como se los expliqué Porque ya los videos que vimos de la plataforma Está pero very chiche <laughs> Super fácil, ok Easyísimo Y yeah. ya It's a piece of cake. Bueno, vamos a quedar hasta acá. Los que no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. You, see you tomorrow, teacher. Welcome. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night.